What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today I want to talk about this brand new model from Benchmade. This is the Benchmade Claymore and you can see the exact model number there in uh, D2, automatic, all of that good stuff. This was loaned in from Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. Promo code, link in the description. Here's all of his information. Go check him out. He's an awesome awesome friend of mine. Um, he loans me in a lot of stuff, so I really couldn't give you guys the daily content that I do if he wasn't there helping and supporting me in the background. So thank you, Gil, for all of your support. It is means a lot to me. Uh, and he's just a great guy. If you're not sure what knife you want, whether it's Benchmade, ZT, Medford, um, Demco, they're, they're just becoming a Demco dealer. Like he's got a full line of knives and flashlights and some pens and all of the stuff. And if you don't know what you want, you don't know what you need. One, you should watch more of my videos and that might help you. Uh, or two, just call him up and say, hey, I heard about you on Dirk's channel and I had some questions. He will sit on the phone with you and go over whatever it is that you need to go over. Now, this is a new offering from Benchmade, as I said. And there's a couple of firsts on this. This is a brand new model, so that's a first. And I believe that is the first time that they have ever used CPMD2 in this very nice Cerakoted cobalt black blade configuration with the ranger green grivery scale material handle scales this thing hits super hard as you can see it's very pro tech see if you're not holding on to it and i was kind of doing that on purpose of course if you're not holding on to it it is going to get away from you Okay, because it's ProTech level spring that they have in here. So it works really super well. It is fires like a rocket and off you go. Now the blade steel, let's admit it, 99 point something percent aren't going to know the difference between blade steel if it didn't say it on the blade. Okay, think about it for a minute and you know that I am right. If it didn't say it on the blade, we wouldn't know. I'm not a steel snob. I don't really know unless I look it up and I can tell. I also do not sharpen my own blades. Now, if you're sharpening your own blades, you're probably going to be able to tell from what I understand because you sharpen your blades and you'll be able to tell as you sharpen it. Outside of that, I think the average person truly isn't going to know the difference. So if you're going to hate on D2, uh, I don't know what to tell you, okay? I think it works great. Now, they do have deep carry pocket clip, the standard Benchmade deep carry clip, which I wish, I don't know why this is not focusing correctly on my thing here. Um, they need to start using countersunk hardware. That would just take it to the next level. And I know Benchmade, you're out there listening and watching all my videos. There you go. That's my tip for you. Right. They've never seen any of my videos, but that's okay. So we'll just kind of walk around here. The blade is really nice coating. I do like that. Uh, serrated blade. You either love it or you hate it. And again, I don't know why this is not focusing properly. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to redo the whole video. It's live TV, so to speak, guys. You guys get the, uh, the issues that I do, so it's all good. Uh, when I started out in knife collecting many, many years ago, uh, I thought the serrated blades were the way to go. I was able to cut rope with them super easy. I was out in the uh, field installing uh, cabling 
running cabling in the attics and in the sea, you know, the basements and all this stuff. And so having a serrated blade was fantastic for me as I've grown and appreciated and learned a lot more about the knife community and the knife collecting and all of that good stuff. Eh, serrated blades kind of have taken a back seat, I think, for the most part. But I still really like a partially serrated blade like this because you have the best of both worlds. You can cut the rope really quickly with the teeth. You can also then do more fine detail with the straight edge. Yes, you can cut a rope with a straight edge also or a plain edge, whatever you want to call it. You can do the same thing, but having a serrated por portion of your blade is really not a bad deal in my opinion. Okay, so let's get jump into the specs now. Five inches closed, does have a safety, okay? Eight and five eighths inch uh, overall, 3.62 blade length with a overall of a 3.42 cutting edge and a 1.97 uh, plane edge. It is D2 as we talked about and the D2 um, is the first time that they have used that uh, at Benchmade. So it's a new offering for them. The blade thickness is 0.114 Overall thickness is 0.538 minus the clip, and it weighs in at just 3.8 ounces. Fits in and out of the pocket super great. The clip works even though it doesn't have countersunk screws. It's got such a large opening that it does still work. I would prefer that it had countersunk screw hardware just because that's my preference. So let's do a couple of size comparisons really quickly here next to the uh, Sharpie here, the Spyderco Delica. And how about we go with the Quiet Carry Waypoint, the Benchmade 940, because it happens to be here on the table. And this, my Benchmade 940 has just a standard clip. I have often thought about getting the uh, deep carry clip, you can order just another clip and putting that on there. I like this clip a little bit better because it's a little smaller and it doesn't say Benchmade on it. That's always bothered me a little bit. And yes, these clips could be interchangeable because you do have three screw holes here that would take this clip. And then the two screw deep carry would also just work on this one. Moving up in size a little bit, how about the Hellraiser P series, which again, now you're almost right at the same overall length and blade of the Claymore. So there you have it, guys. This is the Benchmade Claymore that I think is a really cool knife. I don't think I mentioned these run about $230 list price. And from Gil's website, Wild About Sporting Goods, link down below all that uh, he has this one listed for 195 bucks and then you use the promo code to get 10 percent off not a bad deal for what you're getting pretty nice knife overall so let me know what you think down in the comments below i would greatly appreciate your your feedback and uh let me know what you think i appreciate your time thanks for watching have yourselves a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow Thanks, guys.